Okay, I'm back with another video, and I just want to talk to y'all about a little about something. A lot of you know the youth and people around my age and younger. They I don't really see none of this going around, or even people are concerned about even investing. You know, investing is something you really should consider doing when you're between the ages of. You know, you can start investing into small projects or even small, you know, business, businesses or whatever. Or even, you know, a, a, a cupcake sale. You know, it's not about having the money right now. And it's not about, it's not about having a lot of money that you can waste. You know, I, I walk into the mall and I'm, I'm going to go back. I walk into the mall and I just see like, you know, it's okay to buy Jordans. It's okay to buy name brands, shoes and stuff like that. But once I look at, once I look at the past and look at my life in the past, I see I wasted a lot of money on material things. And I could have got more for my money if I, Save some of my money and brought casual things, you know, things I could wear multiple times, shoes I could wear multiple times, and, you know, just save money just by wearing casual stuff, you know, because today's trends cause you to lose money, and a lot of these trends are expensive, like, you know, just expensive trends that die in about about half a year or so, you know, and that's one of the mistakes I made when I was younger, and I've learned from that. I don't buy the most expensive shoe. I don't buy the next Jordan. I don't buy that. I'm looking to invest in how I can be a part of that company in a little percentage, because a little percentage is a lot of money, even though, sorry about that. Even though, even though they have a lot of uh, shares in their company, you can be a part of that, you know. And that return would be great because they are worth millions and billions of dollars. So instead of like buying all these Nike Jordans, as I said, Adidas, you know, just buy your little stock. Invest in Bitcoin, you know. Be creative. Start your own company. Start your own, you know, things that you love. Or, you know, just start your own little restaurant outside your house in the garage or whatever. You got to start small to end big. You can't just be a part of something that's huge in the beginning. But... Because it's not, it's not gonna put you to where you want to be. It's it's not gonna give you that dream and that hunger to want more. So, a humble beginning is better than a big failure. You know, you just gotta have have the mindset. Like I say in a lot of videos, I'm a mind person. I I try to think ahead. I really do think I think ahead, but sometimes you know. I'm indecisive about things. I'm oh, I can't stand that light. I'm indecisive about a lot of st things and you know how how I can interpret things in a better way and say better things in a better way. It's just things that move fast in my mind. It moves so fast and it's concrete, but it moves fast. So if I don't get it out in that time frame, it's just gonna go. And the most valuable things that come in my mind, they leave fast. So I just got to have it, you know, in my mind, plan it, or even write it down. Everything that's valuable to me in my mind because it's valuable and it will help a lot of people. I can motivate people with my thoughts. I can motivate them by what I say and my actions, you know. 
I have a lot of things that I'm dealing with, you know. And I have a lot of things on my plate that can, you know, hopefully I can reap rewards because I planted these seeds, these little seeds that will grow, hopefully, into a big tree, you know, that money can fall out of. And I just want to talk to y'all about that, you know. That's it.